Hi guys, I am back with another interesting recipe you are going to love. In today's video, I'm going to be cooking water yam porridge. So if this video is interesting, keep watching. <music> I'm starting off by peeling off the water yam. You can use cocoa yam as well, it's still going to come out very nice. But in today's recipe, I'm going to be making use of water yam. Do you know that water yam has a lot of health benefit that will benefit your body? Water yam is among the oldest crop that is grown in Africa and is packed with a lot of nutrition that will benefit your health, which include vitamin C and E potassium, iron, calcium, copper, and so on. If you are a diabetes patient, what I am is good for you. It also controls blood sugar level. According to Health Guide, what I am has the following health benefits. One, it improves digestive health and prevents certain digestive conditions. Two, it helps with the treatment of diabetes. So once I'm done, I'm going to wash it and then begin to grater it. So like I was saying, what I am has a lot of health benefits that will benefit your body. Do you know what I am is good for the eyes? It has a minimum of vitamin E that is good for the eyes. Consuming what I am can also lower your blood pressure and reduce cholesterol level in your blood. So you see, adding what I am in your recipes or diet is going to improve your health a lot. You must not have certain conditions before you start consuming what I am, since it's packed with a lot of health benefits that will benefit your body. Next, I'm going to start picking up my vegetable. You can use any type of vegetable you have. So on this video, I'm going to be making use of ugu, you can use green, you can use spinach, whichever one you have will be okay. Ugu on its own has a lot of health benefit that will shock you. It has a high level of vitamin C that can help heal wound, maintain healthy bone, skin, and teeth. It is also rich in vitamin E, which promotes healthier skin and prevents your skin from breaking. So you see, this meal I'm cooking is packed with a lot of minerals and vitamins that will help improve my body. <laughs> so guys, next I'm going to be cutting the water yam and then wrap it around with the leaf and place it on the pot. I was supposed to put oil on the bottom of the pot. Since I'm using non-stickable pots, I've been a certain token, I don't need to add oil in the pot. I just go straight away to wrap the what I am around the leaf and then place it in the pot. This is the part I don't like because it will take time to do sha, but we move. So I'll continue like this until I finish the whole thing. There's another way you can prepare it. I think that one is a bit easier than this one I am doing now. Maybe on my next video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I will continue like this until I finish the whole thing. There are many ways to enjoy this water yam. You can also use it for water yam akara, which is so nice. I'm going to be doing it on this channel very soon. So once I'm done wrapping it, this thing took me time to do. I don't like doing this thing. This is how it looks. So next, I'm just going to place it on the stove and then start adding my ingredients bit by bit. Next, I'm going to be adding the water I used in steaming the chicken I'm going to use for this recipe. After which, I'm going to go in with my red oil. So the oil is blocked. The weather is very cold. Once I'm done adding that, I'm going to go in with my spices, my crayfish. And then next, I'm going to be adding water. You may be wondering why I'm adding hot water. You can also use cold water. It's just that the kettle was close to me and I just use it. After which, I'll cover it and allow it to boil for 10 to 15 minutes. So guys, this is how it looks. I'll stir it a bit before I start adding the rest ingredients on it. Look how beautiful this water yam porridge is. Without testing it, you will know that this thing tastes nice, which I tested for salt and it was okay. Next, I'm going to be adding my dry fish and my dry chicken. 
and then I give it a stir, cover it to steam for another five minutes, and then your water yam porridge is ready. So I'll just give it a little bit of stir, make sure all the meats and the fish go into it proper, and then I'll allow it to steam for another five minutes, and then that is it. The best thing to use for this recipe is seafood, like infi, fish, it makes it to taste nice, but I don't eat seafood, so I had to use what i have at hand i always encourage you to cook with your own recipe it's still going to come out nice so guys i cover it and then that is it look how beautiful it is oh my gosh all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it let me know what you think about it in the comment section okay see you all on my next video bye